trust no one, the streets are mean But his world that's called Lahore Is what his freedom means and more The woman who brought up the boy Around his neck she put a toy An amulet to help him find the truth But it's hiding in the lies And so he wanders the endless road The barefoot boy called Kim He goes into the sunset and dream that he has knowing he must believe there is someone who wants to reveal all the truth that he needs until the day that he finally after having risked his life to protect the pedigree of the stallion and the secret message given to him by Redbeard Kim has reached Umbala and is now a guest on the farm of two farmers that consider Lama a saint who is able to make miracles. <clears throat> Does he like chicken? Certainly, but my teacher likes it served flavored with curry, yogurt, and garlic. And if you want to make him really happy, I recommend you serve shrimps in sweet sauce, pork with white vinegar, and cheese of buffalo curdled with lemon Ooh. juice. He also likes spinach, cauliflower, and potatoes with cumin. But they are all very expensive things, and they are difficult to find. Oh, don't be such an old tightwad. Remember, the llama has removed your pain and suffering. Well said. And I beg you, please don't serve dry and hard biscuits. He likes soft bread served with delicious creamy butter. That's what makes the Miracle Man go crazy with delight. Now I understand. The Miracle Man is not enslaved by his palate or his stomach. Oh, welcome, Master Llama. And above all, he doesn't tolerate deception or lies for any reason. You do remember that, don't you? Uh, of course, Master. A lie is the illness of the scoundrel. That is so true. Excuse us, but you see it is time for us to meditate in silent prayer. We must delay planning the final details of the banquet until another time. But remember, the larger the offer you make, the greater the benefit you receive. Kim, listen to me. What you are doing is not the right thing to do. Master, these farmers want to honor you by making a feast with all of your favorite foods. But I have not really done anything, except for having rid that farmer of the pain he was in. Aww. What does that matter? They think it's a true miracle, and that's why they're happy. But we know that's not true. And remember, truth is not a matter of convenience, is it, Kim? Ah, oh, great. So we should just forget about this banquet? Your banquet desire is an illusion, Kim, and another connection to the wheel of things. Do not forget, it is a deception to seek benefit from actions which are unworthy. <sighs> for the love of the gods, does that seem right to you, Dre? Why do we have to forego a meal fit for a king because these two people are gullible? This doesn't seem fair to me. And besides, nobody forced them to want to do this. Oh, that man is of course a wise man, but manages to ruin some of my best ideas. But it's all right. I will tell the farmers we want to cancel the banquet. My stomach won't be happy, but it is the right thing. But first, there is something I need to do. What are you trying to say to me, Dre? Don't you want to go with me? So I guess maybe the adventure we had on the train was enough for you. Baked to perfection. The cream sauce is just right. Ah, the perfect balance between sweet and salty. I've created a heavenly chicken and banquet sauce. As always, you are incomparable. But I beg you, Halim, no ginger, because the general doesn't like his food spicy. But Colonel Creighton, the chicken without ginger is like a garden without flowers. If you don't want to see the general sneeze all over your savory dishes during the entire lunch, I suggest you put away the ginger, or any other potent spice. Even for the demon Asura, that would be disgusting! Look here, Halim. Colonel Crate, huh? I must report, the general is arriving now. He's here already? My goodness, that man is always ahead of schedule. Welcome, general. At ease, Colonel Crate. It's great to see you in such excellent form. Except for my back. 
Oh, well, if it isn't one thing, it's another. Well, it happens to all of us, General. Come on in. My Halim is preparing a special lunch for you and your detail. Wonderful. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. But please be sure the food contains no ginger at all. I know, and I have warned Halim not to use any. Now it is up to me! <clears throat> Do you foresee a problem, Creighton? Yes, General. All of our reports indicate a possible attack from the North. Uh, let's have a drink. And this time we're not talking about a simple border raid, but an attack organized on a grand scale. That's fine, but the point is to know exactly where and when they will attack. That's why we have sent our best man, Major Barbarossa, to the northern border. But I believe I already know what his report will contain. We should hold out hope until he returns. scary but these aren't the scariest animals around here uh. For a tiger? I watch the tigress very closely. I know her well. You look more like a mangy street cat to me. That's so nice of you, but even a cat has a right to live. But a thief doesn't have that right. I'm not here to steal anything from you. Oh, no? Then have you invaded my house just so you can play with my dollies? That's funny, but give me a break. Watch what you say. So tell me why you are here. Oh, you really need to calm down. I'm not interested in your dolls, and I'm certainly not going to harm them. And I think you're too young to mother me. You arrogant thief, I'm not mothering you. I wouldn't want to be related to you, let alone be your mother. Don't say another word. I'll take you down to the servants and see how arrogant you can remain. Just wait. Let me tell you why I'm here. So now you're going to make up a story? Why are you here? I don't know if I can trust you to understand. You see, it's a rather complicated circumstance. Really? Well, please be sure to keep it simple for me. You are a thief, but have you also lost your mind? There are things you can't understand. Enough! Get out of this room immediately! All right. It looks like I'm forced to tell you the truth. My master and I are here on a secret mission. Huh? We have to bring the colonel an important document. What document? <clears throat> this! What game are you huh? playing with me? A piece of paper with nothing but holes? It's called the Pedigree of the Stallion, and... What would you even know about a pedigree? You don't understand. Really? I understand very well. And when you have been taken out and whipped, I'm sure you will understand much better. I can't believe it! Stop him! He's a thief! Help our little Elsa! Come, Guga! I'm coming! Here he is! Stop, you thief! Stop right now or I'll... Boss! It's, it's me! And you think you're going to stop him with that? Come on! Look, he's in there! Ah, uh, now he's trapped. He'll never get out of the oh, kitchen. Where did he go? I, I don't see him. Huh? Huh? Hiding, are you? You know, boss, maybe he just ran away. He's still here. You go to the left. I'll go to the right. Huh? Why are you following me? Which left did you mean? His, mine, or yours? Get moving! <laughs> Lucky for you, I don't have time to strangle you now! Uh. Ah! <gasps> Go! Ah! 
Get him! What the? Guga! That's the general's wine, you nimcompoop! Hey, you! What do you think you're doing here? Stop him! He's a thief! Huh? A thief? Huh? Grab him and don't let him get away! He's a tricky kid, isn't he? Let's go! Quick, he's getting away! There's no escape! We've got Stop you! Huh? Please let me pass. Why should I? Tired of running? Yeah, a little bit. I think I know this room. Which way did He's he go? <laughs> He's over the top! Quick! We'll grab him outside! <laughs> the door is stuck! He's right there! Come on! For Pete's sake! We finally got the little demon. Now he's going to pay for his crimes, one by one. Should we take him to the colonel? The colonel's very busy. No, he shouldn't be disturbed. I'm not a thief. You don't understand. <gasps> don't we? All right, it's true. I'm a thief. I was looking for some bread, but only so I could eat. Ah, so you're a liar on top of being a thief. Uh, Miss Elsa. I thought you told me you were a secret huh? agent with a super secret <gasps> message to give to someone here. Is this uh, it? Give that back to me. Watch him closely. He says this document filled with holes is a super secret message. Uh, tie him up and put him in the pantry. Uh, 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 no, please don't. You don't know what you're doing. Uh, uh, no, this isn't right. Let me out. Give me back my paper. <sighs> <sighs> What am I supposed to do now? Oh, it's so unfair. There goes my sauce for the chicken. If we're done, can we go now, boss? We're not beat. You must race to the establishment of Rajak. Get chicken, garlic, dark chocolate, cashews. What are you waiting for? Go slower, chief. Can you re-repeat, please? Oh, for Pete's sake, I'll write you a list. I'm so hungry I can hear my stomach rumbling. So when will I be able to sample some of Halim's extraordinary cuisine? Not long now. Papa! Uh -huh. Papa! There you are! I must speak to you. Calm down. <clears throat> I'd like to introduce you to my daughter, Elsa. My, my, you're one beautiful young lady. I'm very pleased to know you. Elsa, you were told we were not to be disturbed. Yes, I know, Daddy. But something incredible has happened. We just captured a thief. Oh, really? And who would that be? An Indian boy. He said he broke in because he was hungry, but I'm sure he came in to steal our valuables. These poor aborigines. Poverty often compels them to make the poorest choices. Are you all right? Did the thief attack you? No, no. But now we have him confined in the pantry. I'll deal with him later. But you see, I'm very busy now. Uh, one last thing, Daddy. Are we still going on the safari tomorrow to hunt the tigress? No, I'm sorry. It's just not possible. Oh, I don't believe it, but you promised! That is quite enough from you now. Go immediately to your room and stay there. And don't think of disturbing me again. <gasps> I feel bad about your daughter. I wish you didn't have to scold her. Elsa is not a little child anymore. She must understand that there are, at times, very serious problems that take priority over looking for tigers. Unfortunately, it's the hard truth of life. If only I had received the pedigree of the stallion, everything would be so simple. Uh, what's that? Would you mind repeating that, General? Didn't I say to immediately go to your room? And now I'll have you stay there without any supper. Somebody let me out of here now! Psst. Hey! Huh? It's only me. What do you want from me? Haven't you done enough? What's your problem? Perhaps I've been wrong about you after all. Oh, really? Don't you think it's a little late for that now? No, absolutely not. I believe you hey, now. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I don't understand that girl. What a disaster. The colonel is going to cook me in sauce. Kalim! What is it, Miss Elsa? Where have you put that piece of paper with the holes? I don't have it anymore. 
Garlic, dark chocolate, cashews, sultanina grapes. Hmm. I guess that's everything you wanted. Great. I'll b b be on my way then. And thank you very much. I think you may have forgotten something, no? Huh? What would that be? You must be the king idiot. Maybe today you'll finally get your crown. <laughs> Miss Elsa, I don't think your father would approve of this. I don't know about that, but it's probably better not to tell him. Yeah! I hope this plan of mine works. Here goes nothing. <clears throat> Oh, wait, Miss Elsa! You seem to be in such a hurry. Is there something I can do for you? Listen to me, Guga. This is very important. I need to know if cashews were included on the list of things you bought. Certainly. I remember it as if it just happened. Do you mind if I check? Uh, what for? Here are the cashews I bought. See for yourself. Show me the list, please, Guga. Hmm, but... Guga, you must always do what I ask you to do. Remember, you work for my father. Yes, of course. I do what he says to do, but I'm afraid I just don't have the list anymore. Eat up. Isn't it beautiful? Rajek! Huh? Oh, my beautiful Miss Elsa. To what do I owe this honor? Help me, Rajek. There's something I absolutely must find. Your Rajek always finds everything. Why, there's nothing I cannot find. How can I be of service to you? Huh? That! What are you talking about? Miss Elsa, are you quite sure you're feeling all right? Where is it? I just saw it. Here it is. Don't eat it. This is so much tastier. I have it. Huh? Goodbye, Rajek. And thanks. Huh? Here, Halim. I have everything. Huh? Uh, finally. You'll never guess who I bumped into. None other than Miss Elsa. Hmm? Is that so? What did she want? Well, she wanted the paper with the shopping list. That's odd. She asked me for the same thing. That's not important. The food better be good or those soldiers will kill us. I've always done the right thing, haven't I? Are you trying to make me lose my job, miss? I'm begging you, please. All right, but this is absolutely the last time. <sighs> It's been badly damaged, but luckily it's still in one piece. Is there anything we can do? You must deliver this to the general right away. Sure, easy for me to do. You're just gonna show up to the guy on watch and say, I must deliver a secret document to the general. Right. Then what do we do? Fortunately, I know him well and his weak points. I have a plan, but you must help me. You must hurry, the men are hungry. Yes, yes, mistress? I have an order from my father. He wants to be absolutely sure that there is uh -huh. no ginger being served to the general. Still obsessed with that? I haven't used ginger. Okay, but I'm supposed to check. By now, the food is under his nose. I gave it to Guga to serve. Sound the alarm on all fronts. We just don't know from where the enemy will be attacking. God save our beloved queen. And, and protect, protect the, the empire! empire! Oh my goodness, what is it, Miss Elsa? Halim is wrong. The general's dish is full of ginger. He must not eat it. Eating it could kill him. But we didn't mean to hurt anybody with our cooking. You better go, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, finally. I'm so hungry I can't think straight. Wait, wait. I'll take that. What are you doing? I haven't tasted it yet. I'm really very sorry, General. Titan, these are your people. For the love of heaven, could you please explain what is happening? Well, I'd love to, but I don't understand it any more than you. Guga! I, I got the dish back. Yes, I see that. Fantastic. But it looks like you didn't need to after all. The dish is all right. Huh? Hold on a moment. Let me see something. Uh. Perfect. No ginger. You can bring it back to him. 
Go on, it's okay. Uh? Is it possible to eat, or do you have another practical joke in mind? Uh, no. Sorry about that, General. Ah, you can leave now. Everything seems fine. The aroma seems just right, and it looks delicious. So tasty. Enjoy it, my friend. Hmm, that's what I'm looking forward to. Aha! Enjoy, everyone. You too, sir. Ah, uh, but hold on, sir. Huh? Enough of your nonsense, Colonel Creighton. I warn you, you are seriously putting our friendship in great jeopardy. And it is my duty to inform you that you are at serious risk of eating the pedigree of the stallion. Huh? Huh? Dark chocolate, cashews, grape sultanina? What kind of secret code is this? There's more here than meets the eye. You see these five dots? They look like positions to me. And I believe it is from these five positions that they plan to attack with their troops. They want to provoke attacks between us and the Indians, which is exactly what happened during the Black Year. Assemble all of the men and immediately take them to the northern border. We must strengthen the garrisons up there. Let's not waste any time debating. We must move quickly. By your command, my general. Colonel Creighton, I want to congratulate you for your successful intelligence operation. We could never have recovered the pedigree without your informant and mystery agent. I have to admit the agent's skill, and there can be no doubt about the results of his work. I trust we'll use him again sometime. Psst. Hey! What's the matter? How come you're so sad? When something special happens to me, it makes me remember how much I miss my mother. Did she die? Yes, she's been dead for two years. Well, at least you have your father. I don't have anybody. Well, sometimes I also feel like I don't have anybody. Well, I would say you and I are treading on common ground. Maybe you and I could work together. Do you really mean it? Are you saying I could become a secret agent? Of course. Today you were simply fantastic. Thanks a lot. You know, I don't even know your name. My name is Kim. And yours? Elsa. Pleasure to know you. <laughs> Hold on. Our profession is so risky, we sometimes even have to risk our pants. Like just now. <laughs> but I only work in a skirt. That's fine by me. Bye, Elsa. I gotta go back now. Goodbye, Kim. Hope to work with you soon. I'm quite sure we'll have a mission to do together. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. He trusts no one, the streets are mean But his world that's called Lahore Is what his freedom means and more The woman who brought up the boy Around his neck she put a toy An amulet to help him find the truth But it's hiding in the lies And so he wanders the endless road The barefoot boy called Kim He goes into the sunset and falls 